Hey guys, I'm Christine and I'm here to talk to you about skill number six from the GoPro series, how to get a new distributor started right. Um, basically there's five phases and what you wanna do is you wanna sit down with the person for about an hour and in phase number one, you wanna congratulate them for making such an awesome decision to take charge of their life and be part of our company and our mission um, and tell them about um, you know that you're proud of them and this is a, a changing moment in their life this is a, a unique opportunity and if they grasp it with both hands then anything is possible you know the sky's the limit um, part two is all about setting their expectations so I love what Eric's got in his book here he um, he sort of lets them know that if they succeed in this business it's them that's going to create that success not us and then if they fail in this business it's them that are going to um, contribute to that failure, not us. Okay, so um, they are gonna be the difference between their success and their failure. So I think by saying that to them up front, it lets them know that it is up to them. You know, if it's meant to be, it's up to me. So um, we need to let them know that we're here to guide them, we're here to teach them, but we can't do the work for them. And I know Linda uses a great analogy about lifting the weights. So, you know, we can take them to the gym and we can show them what to do, but we can't physically lift the weights for them. Okay. Um, and then you want to make them independent from you as quickly as possible. That's the greatest gift you can give them. Um, and then you want to be the teacher, not the slave. Um, tell them that there's going to be ups and downs. There's going to be good days and bad days. But how they react on a bad day, you'll, you'll know when they're going through one because they'll stop calling, they'll stop attending events, um, they may not come to, you know, plug into any calls. So when that happens, you want to ask them how they want you to handle it. Do they want you to leave them alone or do they want you to be persistent and remind them why they're doing this business, you know, bring it back to their why. So get clear on that and, um, and, and just... Yeah, tell them that there are going to be days that they're not going to want to do this business, but we've all been through it and we can help get them through that by supporting them. Um, so we need to know where they are emotionally. Part three is all about following a getting started checklist. And um, there's five really easy steps you can follow in this. So basically take the products. That's step number one. That's a no brainer. It's something we can all do. It's very easy. You need to be a product of the product. Um, if you going to be promoting the Transform 30 program, you must do the Transform 30 program yourself. Um, step number two is give them the appropriate tools they need to succeed. So, um, you know, give them the GoPro book or the audio, maybe the Jim Rohn, um, you got Rise of the Entrepreneur, there's a lot of links about the Juice Plus products and the business on YouTube. So show them where they can get that. Show them um, the websites that they've got access to. Um, and then num step number three is get them connected. So welcome them to your team pages, um, plug them in, introduce them and connect them with like-minded people or, or people who have um, similar interests to them. Like if you've just brought a mum onto the team or a personal trainer or you know um, a bloke that works in the mines, then connect them th with those other people in the business. They don't have to be in your team, it can be sideline buddies. Um, and plug them into calls, events, conferences, and webinars. So get them on as many training calls um, as they can, and um, this will help um, introduce them to the business. Number four is make sure they have a basic understanding of the compensation plan. And this is really easy because every Monday night we have a pay plan call. So they need to be on that call every week until they can actually relay the compensation plan to somebody else, until they know it off by heart. Step number five is make sure they have fundamental understanding of how to invite people to have a better understanding of what we have to offer in regards to the products and also the business. And then part number four is create a game plan with them. So make it challenging and then like challenge them to do it as quickly as possible. Like honestly, this is this is a race and the quicker they move through the levels and the quicker they get um, some positive reinforcement, they're going to stick around. So we want to help them um, get their first customer. We want to help them get their first distributor. We want to help them um, come to their first event. They can either launch their own event or they can come to another company event that's that's on in their area. And then what steps are we going to help take to help them earn their first commission check? So <clears throat> Celine has come up with an amazing um, rocket tracking sheet which shows you all the different steps and what to do to get to the next promotional level. So um, use that with them. It, you, it's a great tool to have. 
Part number five is give them something to do with a deadline. So help them get over the line by signing up their first customer, signing up their first distributor, um, getting their first commission check, attending their first um, company event, um, making friends in the company, as I said before, like hook them up with sideline buddy, buddies, proclaim their intention to the world. I think this is a really good one. Like what's their goal? What's their why? Why are they doing this? What are they hoping to get out of it? And um, go and put it on Facebook or wherever um, so that it's out there. <clears throat> get them promoted to the new next level and then get them recognized for some sort of achievement. It might be that they got their first customer or, or maybe they made, I don't know, 10 calls in one day um, or maybe they got out of their comfort zone, you know, but just recognize those achievements, those little wins that they're having along the way. Um, and as their sponsor, it's our job to help them stay over the line. Yeah. So always be aware of where people are emotionally um, and bring it back to their why. Yeah. And then this way we can continue to encourage people to never let go of their dreams. Thanks guys. Hope you got something out of that.